Welcome back to the channel. This is day three of the demolition. If you have not watched the first two videos, stop right there. Go back, watch the first two, and then come watch this one. Because, man, that'd be like walking into a movie 45 minutes into it. It don't make no sense. So don't do it. But appreciate you watching. Uh, today, I'm going to knock out this wall here. And, yeah, here's where I come into a problem. I'll tell you what the issue is. This. That's just, that switches. So on a switch, and you can see there's three different things on that switch. On each switch, they run to whatever they pertain to. That and that. So the wire, there's no excess wire to this point. So what I think I'm going to do for now, because uh, I don't want to rip all this up right now to reroute electric. I'm going to leave this pole in place right here. And it's already got this deal here, so it won't look too bad. We'll see what that looks like. And <laughs> it is a problem. But to leave this whole wall here would look ridiculous if this is gone. I don't know, we'll tear this out first, we'll see what it looks like, but kind of defeats the purpose of what I'm trying to do here, if I leave it. So I can figure out the electrical part of it. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. I don't really don't know where I'd mount them. I've got space there, I can mount a switch, who knows, maybe, yeah, really no room there. I'll figure that part out. I have decided to take this out. <laughs> because that there's no point in taking all these out and you got a pole sitting right in the middle of the room because my idea is to put a low uh, sofa here yeah, right in this area and I can still have a couple chairs or I can do anything heck I could put a TV up there put my recliner there and just have a little room for the TV and just have furniture out there I don't know I don't know but I did go and buy a hammer yeah I had a coupon for five dollars off, plus I got my military discount. Yeah, time of time. So now I'll find my other one. Man, a lot of people say, "Hey, give that to Mama V." You missed, a, must have missed the part in the last video where I said it don't work. I store my cast iron skillets in there. That's it. It used to work. Okay, so when you go to hit bake and start, you, you got to hit it 900 times. And the last time I went to use it, which was probably eight, nine months ago, it wouldn't work at all. As you can see, the, the display is messed up. This is the problem with all modern stuff, is these display panels. And air conditioners are the same way. And they go out, and you're screwed. So that I replaced in our, our August. It went out on August, Tommy. Always does it on the hottest day. But you only get two years out of them. I, that is my fifth fourth or fifth one since I've been here in nine years fourth or fifth one and I bought every one of them brand new it's all garbage made in China just like everything else I mean if you went through your place and picked everything out that was made in China and threw it out in the yard you wouldn't have anything you wouldn't have anything left unless it was old all right, I'm going to quit yakking. I want to thank the person who sent the puppy food. It is just enough. And the puppies got their next guards for the month this morning. That was fun. Uh, thank you for that. They also sent a bag of dry food. Just enough to get me to where they... And uh, yeah, I don't know if you, if you haven't read the community post. They are going to Minnesota July 9th. Yeah. Check this out. I got to take them to get their health certificates next Thursday. So Jeff's going to come help me load them up. We're going to take them to the vet, bring them back. And then Sunday at 3 in the morning, me and Jeff got to load these dudes up, drive them an hour, pretty much out where Mama V lives, uh, past where Mama V lives, uh, past Boonville. And we got to meet them at the city hall, and they have a transport bus. I load them up and then head home. I don't do well driving at night, so <laughs> this ought to be fun. 
But I gotta make it. They gotta go, man. They gotta go. So, yep. Yeah, they are here, and a week from Sunday, they will be gone. Oh! You guys don't realize how hard it is feeding them twice a day. It's not the feeding part. It's going in there. You've seen the routine when I showed you. They're all over you, and they're bigger now. And then I got to put their food down, get their old bowl, get their water bowl, because they get water two or three times a day. And then I got to come back in, scoop poop, where they're still all over me, jumping on me. It's a very difficult task. <laughs> then I got to go get their water, come back in. They're all over me. And I keep a certain pair of pants. I ha you have to wear pants, and that's what I wear just to feed them. And I'm feeding them twice a day, so you can imagine in the heat. That ain't fun. But they did great yesterday. It was hot, but they're, they're really nice and shaded there all day. But they are going to Minnesota. They won't have to worry about this heat. They got about another week and two days of it. And they're gone. All right, let's get busy. First thing, first order of business, get this out of here. This is Stan, by the way. I just need to get some things that look good on there instead of all this junk. You know? you got to have a mess. It's in the Bible. Alright. That looks terrible. But, uh, it ain't sagging. I like that. You would not believe how much that opens things up. Let me get you. Let me get you. All right, guys, this ain't the camera with the good mic, so. Look at that. 
just opens it right up. My chair looks kind of ridiculous out there where it was now. And I am going to probably move the TV, uh, take that out of there. I'll leave the shelves. But there's got to be, I may, may raise it up and put it up there on one of those pivots. Yeah. Don't know. We ain't got no furniture. I'm not going to go out and buy a big furniture set. I'll get it a little at a, little at a time. And then we'll just have to put a cap on that to match with that. Not a problem. And I believe I will be going with a window there. Because that would just let so much more light in. Probably about the same height. Uh, I got a wholesale place I go to where I got all these, well, not these windows, but I got that window. I got all the plywood for the deck that I tore out. Uh, it's a construction in Fort Smith, construction place. All right, so now let's get on to this. And I gotta think about what to do. guys excuse the the hum of the air conditioner that's what you're hearing i ain't turning it off it's gonna be 103 today all right let me tell you something uh like i said when i started you know we'll tear it out see what it looks like i'm gonna tell you i don't see any reason to take that wall out at all now and what i got in mind is continue on with this metal okay just like we got here because if I lo did something here, just made a half wall, really it isn't giving me nothing. What am I going to do in there? Maybe put a kitchen table. I could do the same here. But continue with the metal. Frame it out just like I did up here. Uh, there was just too much wood here. And if I do that, I think that's going to break it up a lot. And look at all the room. You know, this is all open now. All of this is open. Let's go back here a little bit. Yes, place is a mess. But I could now I could still put a sofa if I want to make that. Uh, I actually I think that would be a great place for a table, and I got one upstairs. Uh, I built it myself. It's right there, and I don't use that up there. That would fit perfect, or get something else. I don't know. But the point is, why tear this out and this? Because if you tear this out, this is going to look ridiculous, and I got to rewire everything. Why spend that extra money when this there's nothing wrong with the way this looks? Now all I have to do, uh, I'll probably put one of them beams back in there, on the end there. I'll definitely do that and trim this out. But it was, it was just the two different kinds of wood, and I'll get, I'm going to get rid of that too. The two different kinds of wood that kind of just clashed. You know, look at that. Look at that. It just it just clashes. Oh, you don't get along with me. We clash. Get this go away now. Anyway. Yeah. I think that's what I'm, because the further I go, the more it's gonna cost me. And, and if we leave the wall, look at him. 
get the stove out of here and I can put a countertop across here yet while leaving a space underneath for if I croak or if I sell I can easily take it out maybe a lift top or I'm still thinking of the roll away I don't know either way it's gonna work but it's all completed on this side nothing to do just leave the power where it sits and I still can keep this because man this is where you know I keep all my pat, pots and pans and things like that of course some cookie sheets and stuff I won't have no use for but I think that's what I'm gonna do I mean I could stand here look how open that looks now and all we really are gonna need is just some cosmetic work you know this never got framed in uh, trim this out here where that beam was I'm glad that's gone really am so and I think and I know a lot of you like that wood but if you're not here you can't see it it's it's a horrible job I did it's gapped too I mean it needs to all be taken down and I'm gonna put the metal but I will do this you know we'll still maintain the cedar but we'll do that and I'll do that all the way to here have the metal there it'll look good when it's done it's gonna look really good and I probably just put cedar back there I oh, know we're gonna put a window in there so we won't really have to worry about it too much I'm gonna have plenty of cedar left over so at that point let's see what else there ain't much more demo I have to do yeah I guess that'll be it for a video now I still got to finish my cabinets and would by finish all I mean is and I've got all the hardware I got to adjust these where they shut nice that's a very easy job it just you know it's trivial but I'll get those adjusted I already got a pantry I don't need I don't need another pantry or any of that over here I mean I've got these shelves here there's nothing in them so I just have to take the time and, and get things stored you know as well as these under here and there's there's room under there but as you can see the stove's in the way hey there's my coffee pot yeah I quit using a coffee pot too so I just mix instant instant and I got my air fryers electric skillet whatever I get but I, I that's a waste of space it's not working and one of the knobs is missing now so then I also got that toaster oven boy everything is dusty from tearing all this stuff out I gotta get the duster all right guys well this is a short one probably isn't too short but that's what we're going to do and <laughs> you don't even you don't even want to see up here this is just shuffling junk from one place to another and all my tools out of the way up here it ain't too bad but i don't know so there's that table i built got my old computer on it it doesn't get used. I never come up here to get on that old thing. Uh, if you haven't seen up here, this is what we got. It's pretty warm up here. And I still got work to do up here. So there's no shortage of work. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Remember, go back and watch them first two. And what I plan to do with the puppies is when we take them, I'm going to film that day. So you'll see everything that goes on. We'll probably get some clips of taking them to the vet. The bigger they get, the harder it's getting to deal with them. I mean, they're probably 30 pounds now. They're big. But we're going to, you know, a week from Sunday, I won't have to do it anymore. Thank goodness. I was making sure my mic was on. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Happy trails.